Okay, so uh, in today's video, I'll be talking about the new Guild Raid game mode. I'll be explaining the uh, mechanics of the game mode, uh, what to do in the game. And I'm not going to be talking about the team formations or like how to optimize their scores. This is going to be more for people that do not really have a good idea of how the game mode functions. Uh, because it is, it can be complicated to a lot of the new players. And I also wanted to upload this video earlier, uh, earlier today or even yesterday, but I was busy IRL and in the game, both IRL, you know, both in the game and outside the game. So I couldn't really make the video, so I apologize for that. Uh, if you go to, if you go to your guild, you have to click on your guild. Uh, you go to a guild board, and then you can see the. Uh, this is the old one. This is just do uh, do just as much damage as possible. Pretty straightforward. I'm not going to. I'm not going to be talking about this. If you go to your guild raid, uh, this is the new mode, right? So for now, uh, Maxwell is going to be the main boss uh, for this season. They said that they will change the bosses. It's not just going to be one boss. Um, all the time it is going to change uh, but for now for this season for the following uh, 12 days it's going to be Maxwell as the main boss uh, so if you look at uh, over here there is the geese guardians right and there is uh, five stages for each geese guardian we have chimera and Ty uh, tyrant toddler now because uh, my guild beat the bosses I can't really see the um, the boss details uh, but you want what you want to do is you want to tunnel vision on the geese guardians the first few days until you beat them uh, Because if you go to the geese settings right the geese settings um, Let me just remove uh, all of my geese settings real quick If you go to the geese settings you can see that for each stage that you beat for chimera and tyrant you actually unlock more geese uh, these things are called geese so uh, this, for example, is a team restriction. You can only use Earth Heroes in your team. Now, this only applies to Maxwell, and this gives you more points, right? This gives you a more uh, point calculation. So whatever you get is going to be multiplied by 65%, or 165%, rather. You're going to be getting an extra 65% points. Uh, so this is why you need to do the Geese Guardians first. So when you're doing the main boss, you will have uh, all of the options available to you, and you can be maximizing your point gain in the uh, in the game mode now so for stage one you can unlock these uh, for Giza uh, I think you can even look at I can check them out be before unlocking them but I'll just I'll just have them on the screen in case you cannot actually check them out before you unlock them um, so you can see uh, Giza are not uh, limited to debuffs you can also get buffs but the buffs are going to decrease your points so let's say I just want to choose uh, buffs and I don't really care about the game but I just want to be as OP as possible uh, you get it. You're gonna get zero points. I'm pretty sure it's going to be zero because uh, minus 30, uh, 355 percent is basically zero. Uh, what if I actually check all the geese are possible? Actually, you're going to be getting 95 percent of points. Uh, so you, what you what you want to do is you're going to be messing around with uh, your geese settings, trying to optimize your point gain as well as trying to beat Maxwell. Uh, this is after you beat the Geese uh, Guardians. Uh, let me also explain how the Geese Guardians work. So, uh, when you start uh, the Guild Raid, you will be at Stage 1. Stage 1 is going to have three th uh, 300,000 uh, HP. Uh, each member can attempt Stage 1, but do not attempt Stage 1 if uh, one of your teammates is already doing Stage 1. Because if they kill Chimera, and then uh, before you do, and then they are out of the uh, raid, and then you do some damage, your damage is not going to be counted you're gonna be basically you've dealt zero damage to chimera because they already killed stage one uh so try to you know um optimize it with your guild mates try to communicate with your guild mates uh try to assign you know who's going to do stage one who's going to do stage two who's going to do stage three now this is only for chimera specifically uh for i mean geese guardians specifically because you want to uh you don't want it to be just random whoever wants to attack you want to optimize uh, your progression in the Geese Guardian uh, stage, so you can go to Maxwell as soon as possible, so you can optimize your points, right? You want to optimize your points for Maxwell, and that is by just trying to beat the Geese Guardians as soon as possible. And the best way to do that is just, you know, communicating with your guildmates and assigning, you know, who wants to do uh, what stage of what boss, um, depending on, you know, uh, the members that you have. So after you do Chimera and Tyrant, uh, the points, the damage you do is actually also cal. It's not just Maxwell. All the damage that you do to the Geese Guardians is going to be calculated to the total points, uh, right here. So you don't want to tunnel vision on Maxwell. Once you beat the Tyrant and Chimera, you cannot do them any longer. So you will have to do Maxwell, 
And you can you can do stage one, which is level fifty, stage two, which is level seventy five, and then stage three, which is level one hundred. Uh, try to see you know what stage you can get the most points out of. Uh, it's going to be between stage two and three, unless you're very new, and then you'll be able to do stage one, I guess. But I do not recommend doing stage one. Stage two is valid. Stage three, I don't think. Um, uh, you can actually get a lot of points from I think it's just too hard stage 3 is just too hard to be able to optimize the point gain uh, So right now I'm just doing stage 2 just to optimize my points um, uh, Let me show you what Maxwell does actually One sec Okay, so if I go to Maxwell right ignore my team CP because none of them have gear because you know I'm trying to uh, do this game mode if I go to Maxwell That's actually the level 3. Let me go to the level 2 uh, you, you can read what he does. So the first skill is going to be attacks an enemy. This attacks prioritizes the leftmost enemy grants the caster a removable immunity for one turn if a non-defender enemy was attacked. So it's going to attack the leftmost enemy, which is this one, uh, this slot right here. It's going to always attack it, and if it's not a defender, he's going to be getting a an irremovable immunity buff. So what you want to do is just, you know, for example, just put Veronica right here, just an example, and then he's not going to be getting the buff. Uh, grants the caster irremovable increased critical chance for two turns, so he's going to always have 60% chance to crit. That's why he will be critting you uh, most of the time. Uh, skill 3, attacks all enemies, grants it increased attack uh, and speed and defense for three turns. Uh, you know, it's just a buff, uh, but it also attacks all enemies. Uh, by the way, he'll always start with this skill, always. He'll start with this skill, then he'll do the AoE, then he'll do the skill 1. Activates an additional attack on all enemies upon scoring a critical hit attacking um, after attacking increases the caster priority by 20% so he will always gain 20% priority after attacking and if he scores a critical hit he will do a follow up AoE so uh, he will be doing a lot of AoE damage is the TLDR here uh, and then this is very important this is very very important increases damage taken from mage enemies takes greater damage from earth element enemy mages so Dolly, Alice are going to be doing the most damage because uh, it takes greater damage from Earth Element enemy mage. Uh, but it, he just takes more damage from mage in general. But Earth mage are going to specifically be doing more damage. Reduces critical hit chance and effectiveness on uh, of enemy strikers. So uh, he's going to be reducing your Noah's crit rate by 50%. And any, any striker is going to be reduced by 50%. Increases damage taken while inflicted with bleeding. So just takes more damage when inflicted with bleeding. Takes weakness, gauge damage only when inflicted with poison. You're not going to be trying to break uh, Maxwell. He only has 110,000 health. You're not going to be trying to break uh, his uh, his weakness gauge. So that's basically pointless. But yeah, if you have if you want to do a bleed strat, uh, bleed strat, you can try that out because he takes more damage uh, when he's bleeding. Uh, and then this is also really important, reduces action points of fire and water element enemies by 30% and action points of light and dark uh, element enemies by 50 uh, points at the start of the turn. Reduces damage dealt to earth enemies and increases damage taken from them. So earth enemies, are, earth heroes are going to be doing more damage and they're going to be receiving less damage from Maxwell. Increases damage dealt to fire enemies and reduces damage taken from them, increases damage taken from burst skills. Uh, this explains itself pretty much and then the enrage uh, removes all buffs from all enemies and then attacks them That's this, this attack ignores the defense of the targets which is damage dealt every time the caster enraged um, He's not gonna enrage right uh, he only has a 10 110,000 health You're going to be killing him before he gets to enrage or you're gonna be dying before he gets to enrage uh, one of the two uh, Unless you're doing a wonky team that is going to survive until he enraged and uh, at that point I think he was just going to be nuking your whole team uh, I never really saw him in rage. I don't know how much damage he does, but I'm assuming it's going to be a one-shot, uh, a one-shot nuke. Uh, so this is Maxwell, right? You just want to bring Earth, he uh, Earth heroes uh, and Earth mages for the most part. Uh, you can also just read up on Chimera and Tyrant and try to figure out a you know a team comp for yourself. I'm not going to be doing a guide for team comps as of yet. I can't even access Chimera and Tyrant. And I don't think there is a set team uh, that is, you know, the best for Maxwell or the best for Chimera or the best for Tyrant, uh, as of yet, anyways. Uh, the game mode is still new, I'm just uh, explaining the basics, you know, of how the game mode works. I'm not going to be delving into strategies, uh, at least not right now. Uh, also, what do you gain out of this game mode? I probably should explain it. Uh, if you go to the guild point reward, uh, this is going to uh, go to all team, all guild members, right? 
So it goes up to three three hundred and forty two million, uh, seven twenty thousand, and you get three stage three gems, which is whatever. It's really whatever. These these rewards are pretty pre mid. Uh, also, th there is ranking rewards and participation rewards. So if you participate three times, you get two of the same stage one gem superior reforged catalyst. Um, uh, and experts hammer time two. Obtain two of the same stage two gems, stage three gem, epic reforged catalyst, and master's hammer. Okay, you just these are the rewards for just participating. And right now there is a reward time two. Uh, there is an event for time two rewards for participation. And then lastly, there is the leaderboard uh, rewards, which I'll show you right now. So if you click on ranking, right, uh, these are going to be the monthly. You're going to be get them once every month. Uh, you're getting uh, 15, 1,500 ether, 2,000 uh, guild coins, which is fine. And then you're going to be getting the guild buff, which is increases obtained gold by 15%, which is really good. Obtained hero experience by 10% and health of heroes in battle by 15%. This is not that good because it doesn't apply in arena and arch demon runes or guild raid. Uh, if it applied in arena, that would have been broken. So I'm glad it doesn't. So it's going to be applying in tower and PvE content. So, you know, it's going to be helpful for people that are struggling with PvE content. And I'm assuming if you're one of the top three guilds, you're not going to be struggling with the PvE content anyways. Uh, but yeah, the rewards are not... A must do so this game mode is not going to be one of the main focuses of uh, uh, of your playthrough but for end game you know for end game uh, people that are already at the end game uh, that have been prioritizing their progression uh, their progression from day one uh, they're going to be enjoying this game mode a lot because it requires you to work on a lot of different heroes uh, and yeah this is it for today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one